Welcome to Optimal Anesthesia, where we explore the field of disaster preparedness in anesthesiology. Today, we will examine the vital function that anesthesiologists fulfill in overseeing patient care during catastrophes, the distinct difficulties they encounter, and the impact that efficient preparation may have on preserving lives. Now, we're diving into the different types of disasters and how anesthesiologists have been crucial in responding to these crises. First up, we have mass casualty events. These can include transportation accidents or mass shootings, which stress healthcare systems with a sudden surge in patient demand. Take Hurricane Katrina in 2005, for example, where anesthesiologists were pivotal in providing anesthesia and critical care to patients amidst the chaos. Next, we have natural disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes. These events can damage healthcare infrastructure, limiting the ability to provide care. The 2010 earthquake in Haiti, for instance, destroyed several hospitals, impacting patient treatment and requiring anesthesiologists to adapt to challenging conditions. Pandemics, such as the ongoing COVID-19 crisis, can overwhelm healthcare systems. Anesthesiologists have been on the front lines, managing ventilators and providing anesthesia for COVID-19 patients, highlighting the critical role they play in pandemic response. Moving on to examples of anesthesiologists' roles in specific disasters, let's talk about Hurricane Katrina. This devastating storm in 2005 led to widespread flooding and damage to healthcare facilities in New Orleans. Anesthesiologists worked tirelessly to provide anesthesia and critical care, often in challenging conditions. The COVID-19 pandemic has been another significant challenge. Anesthesiologists have been instrumental in managing ventilators, administering anesthesia for COVID-19 patients, and ensuring the safety of healthcare workers in the face of this unprecedented crisis. Finally, let's not forget the 2003 earthquake in Bam, Iran. This disaster resulted in significant damage to healthcare facilities, requiring anesthesiologists to provide anesthesia for emergency surgeries and manage critically ill patients in makeshift hospitals. Next, we're delving into the unique challenges anesthesiologists face in disasters. These healthcare heroes navigate through daunting obstacles to ensure patient care during crises. Let's explore these challenges together. First up, we have surge activity. Disasters lead to a sudden increase in the number of patients, overwhelming healthcare facilities. Anesthesiologists must swiftly adapt to the surge, ensuring every patient receives timely care. Another challenge is the lack of time. With the situation's urgency and a high volume of patients, anesthesiologists must work under immense pressure, making quick but critical decisions for patient care. Resources being reduced or unavailable is another significant challenge. Disasters often destroy equipment, infrastructure, and logistical systems, limiting the availability of essential resources. Anesthesiologists must find innovative ways to manage what they have. Vulnerable groups, such as children, the elderly, and pregnant women, often bear the brunt of disasters. Anesthesiologists must provide specialized care to these groups, ensuring their unique needs are met in challenging circumstances. Lastly, the characteristics of the challenge itself can be overwhelming. Anesthesiologists often face a high number of trauma cases, including blunt trauma, penetrating trauma, burns, and more. This requires them to be adaptable and skilled in managing various injuries. Anesthesiologists are the backbone of critical care during disasters. They provide life-saving interventions like intubation, mechanical ventilation, and hemodynamic support to patients with severe injuries or medical conditions. Airway management is a key skill of anesthesiologists, especially in disaster settings. 
They expertly manage compromised airways due to trauma, burns, or respiratory distress, ensuring patients receive adequate oxygenation and ventilation. Operating room, or, management is another crucial aspect of their role. Anesthesiologists oversee the OR, ensuring it's equipped and staffed to handle surgical procedures safely and efficiently. They work closely with surgical teams and other healthcare providers to prioritize and perform surgeries based on patient needs. Regional anesthesia techniques are also part of an anesthesiologist's arsenal in disaster situations. They use techniques like nerve blocks and spinal anesthesia to provide pain management and anesthesia for surgical procedures, reducing the need for systemic medications and minimizing complications. Finally, explore how these plans can help prevent harm to healthcare workers, especially in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Disaster planning is all about creating effective strategies to utilize healthcare personnel, facilities, and equipment during emergencies. Anesthesiologists play a vital role in developing and implementing these plans, ensuring the healthcare system can respond swiftly and effectively to disasters. One major concern in disaster situations is the safety of healthcare workers. They may face physical or psychological harm, especially in politically unstable environments where hospitals and healthcare facilities could be targeted. The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the risks healthcare workers face during disasters. Many have been infected with the virus, leading to tragic outcomes. Shortages of personal protective equipment have also been a concern, with some hospitals having to reuse masks due to supply constraints. In conclusion, disaster planning and anesthesiology is vital for saving lives and ensuring the resilience of healthcare systems. By understanding the challenges, preparing for various scenarios, and prioritizing the safety of healthcare workers, anesthesiologists play a crucial role in disaster management. Thank you for joining Optimal Anesthesia today. Stay tuned for more insightful discussions on perioperative care.